Hey guys and welcome to this review on Adidas X 16.1 Street. Yes, Adidas wrote football and street on the same box and that makes me really excited because it means that the big brands really want to go for something else. So it's like street football and doing tricks. So here they are. As you can see on the box, Adidas Street 16.1 Street. Yeah. So let's open them up. The first thing I notice is that the sole is big. And this is really good for uh, sole juggles and sole tricks. And so this is good. Uh, big sole. And I also noticed that you have this edge here. So it means that you can stall the ball here. It's like this a function where you just put your foot in. Uh, I will try them later. So you just put your feet in and it feels like a sock. I also noticed that the heel is rounded. For heel tricks that may be a challenge, but we will see how it will be later. Okay, another thing I noticed is that the shoe is not super light. Uh, it's heavier than the other indoor shoe I use uh, to compare. This is the other indoor shoe I'm using. It's also the Adidas X. Uh, as you can see, the difference in the sole, huge advantage for this shoe. And you also have this edge here and you can see the difference. It's like no edge. It's the shoe I'm using for indoor. But this I think is more for outdoor use. It's like it's more robust and I like the design. Uh, I prefer usually white shoes like this, but it can be an issue when you're playing in the street with the uh, white shoes because they get really dirty. Okay, Adidas sent me another pair. I will just show them because they are in the same series. It's another box from Adidas. It's it's another box from it's another box from 16.1, but it's written cage. So I will check how they look. Yeah. So I will make review on these ones later. Just wanted to show you that they kind of belong together. So great. I will try to find a place to place to train later but uh, maybe some spot is free but uh, first I will go to the gym because there is no snow so I will go to the gym that I always practice <laughs> Okay, on the way back from the gym, uh, I found this place where I can test them a bit outside, but it's a lot of snow, like you can see. As you can see, playing in the snow is not so easy. Okay, so I tested the shoe for 30 minutes and I will sum up. Uh, first, it was really nice to put them on. It really felt like a sock. So it's like the shoe is tightening around your feet. So this was huge plus. I have to say that the shoe is a bit heavy compared to my other shoe, but I think you can get used to it. Uh, the sole, really good for the stalling tricks and uh, like doing some clipper moves here is really nice. 
The surface is nice and clean, they felt a bit slippy but it's very often like that with brand new shoes and I use a different shoe so, so it's like it's just a different thing, it's what you're used to. I think they would be good with the grip ball actually. Also I mentioned the heel, that it was rounded and for heel juggles but it was no, no problem at all, it was really easy to stall it on the heel and yeah, so this was good. I think I know what Adidas try to make, they want to have a normal shoe that you are walking around with because they are really comfortable and if you are offered to play football in the street with some friends you don't need to change the shoe, you can just play with this shoe, it's really good for this. For the more advanced lower tricks, like tricks around the walls and stuff like this, I think the shoe might be a bit big, but it really depends. If you like to do a lot of soul tricks and balance moves, I think this shoe can be good. But all in all, it's a bit heavy for freestyle, but I think for street football, it's awesome. Okay guys, that was my review on the Adidas X 16.1 Street. Uh, if you liked it, thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. See you next time. Yeah.